Hello and welcome to Unreal Made Easy. And today's tutorial, we're gonna talk about how to take any picture and convert it into a metahuman using several pieces of software. So we're gonna start uh, with creating an FBX file in Daz 3D Creator using the face transfer add-on. Next, we're going to import it into Unreal Engine and create a metahuman ID. And then finally, we're gonna to go to the website and do the fine tuning to make the metahuman look as real as possible. All right, let's not waste any time and let's begin. Okay, to start out with, you're gonna to need to download the DAS 3D software and install it on your system. Along with that, you're gonna need the DAS face transfer add-on. Once you have those two things, this is where we'll begin. Open up your DAS Studio. And then you're gonna, once you've opened up and you're at this page, just click OK. And to start out with, we're gonna go to the Windows tab and we're gonna change the layout to make it easier for us to find everything. So to do this, you go to Windows, go to Workspace, select Layout. And the layout we're gonna be using will be the regular City Limits work uh, layout. Hit Accept. Once you're at this point and you have your face transfer software in, the next thing you want to do is go back to window, go to panes, and we're going to select the face transfer add-on. And this should be in alphabetical order, so it's right here. Do a left click, grab and drag, and put it to the side. Face transfer will show up there. We're going to click and open it up. We got to use a source image. Now I've already downloaded one. You can use any image you want. Ideally, you want something that has a white background and the hair pulled back, but I'm going to show you what I used. I basically just created, oh, first you want to go right here, select browse, and then select your, your, uh, your face transfer picture. This picture is made in mid journey. I just, made something really quick just because I want to do something generic in general, but you can use a real human's face. You can use many different types of faces and that's what the beauty of this software. And once we do all this, it's going to be great to uh, turn it into a meta human. So this picture is good. The only bad side is that all this hair is in the way of her face, but I think we should be okay. Um, but typically you want, if you're using a male or female, you want to make sure the hair is pulled back. So select your picture. For this one, I'm going to choose the female gender so that we have a female body type. And select generate. OK, now that it's been generated, we're going to go over here to the right. And we're going to select the scene. In the scene, we're going to open this tab here. Let's see, there we go by left clicking and we've got three things on them we've got in this particular one so i've got the eyelashes the the basic shorts and the sportswear i'm just going to delete all that all you have to do is right click select delete female eyelashes okay right click and then we're going to delete the basic wear shorts and then we're also going to right click and delete the sports bra. And then we can close that up by left clicking. Next, I'm going to move this here just so we can get off the full figure here. And we're going to change the perspective to the front view just to make it simple. Now, in order to zoom out a little bit, we want to get the full figure. We're going to scroll. Next, we're going to go to the Tools tab in the upper left here. And we're going to select the Geometry Editor. Now that we have the Geometry Editor, we're going to click on the model. So we're going to right click on her and we're going to select the model. And then we're going to see right click. Yes, right click here. And we're going to make sure the selection type is Polygon. 
and then the selection mode is going to be the marquee. Now we can left click and drag. And what we want to do here is we want to just, we don't want to cut off the head or the chin. We just want the head because that's what we're going to be using to create our metahuman. Select the whole body by left click and drag and selecting it. You'll see like a yellow tint to it. Right click. And then we're going to go to geometry editing. And then we're going to delect, delete selected polygons. Click yes. Now, from this point, I mean, we can scroll in and take a closer look. We have everything we need. What we want, we're going to go up to file. We're going to go to export. And we're going to make sure it's auto. We're going to use the FBX file because that's what Unreal uses. And we're just going to call this girl head 001. Select save. And we can leave everything here at default. Hit accept. Okay, that's all we need to do. For This is all we need to do for the dies editor. Next, we're going to want to create the MetaHumans project. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a plugin. Go up to edit, go to plugins. In the search, type in MetaHuman. You're going to want to install this one. And yes, you're going to need to restart the project. Okay, now that your project has been restarted with the plugin enabled, you're going to create a folder. We'll just call this girl head 001. And then what we're going to do is go into that folder. We're going to import. Like I said on mine, I have it on the desktop. We're going to select the FBX file and we're going to hit open. Make sure, very important, uncheck the skeletal mesh and just do a regular import. It's going to bring up the content browser and in a separate window we can close that out. We don't have to worry about the smoothing or anything. We can close the, the message log out. Go back to our content drawer. And then we've got our model, which is right here. Next, we're going to right click. We're going to go to MetaHuman Animator. We're going to create a MetaHuman identity. We'll just call this Girl Head 01. Double click this. And here's something that's important. You're going to have to sign in to your Epic Games account. Okay. Once you've signed into your account, you're going to go to the create component. And we're going to create it from mesh. Here, you want to type in the search. What your mesh is named. Here, I got girlhead01. Select it. Give it a moment because it's going to take a little bit of time for it to load in. And this is de this is depends on how fast your computer is. Okay. Now that we're inside, we can rotate around by using the WASD keys and mouse and kind of get in the front of the of the of the particular head mesh. We're going to select unlit. Okay, let's make sure we want to get it as close. And you can use a mouse scroll to slow down or to speed up your camera. So you want to get it centered as best you can. And then from this point, you're going to want to promote the frame in the upper left corner here. Yes, this will be used as the front view. Hit OK. 
Next. Let's see, we're going to want to create, we're going to right click the frame. And we're going to select auto track. Okay. And then it should look like this. Once we do that, we're going to left click down here again, lock the camera. And then from this point here, we're going to select a body type. I'm just going to check. I'm going to use the female one. Now go back to the neutral pose. You're going to use the next step is the meta human identity solve. Click that. Now we're going to select meta human mesh to meta human. We're going to use the auto rig. We're going to identify. We're going to use the full skeletal plus full, uh, full meta human. Click that. Now, the skill, now this, this particular skeleton has been created and it's inside of your, your, of your MetaHuman library. So we're going to select OK for this. And we're done with this for now. So now we're going to move over to the actual MetaHuman, the MetaHuman website. Once at the MetaHuman website, you're going to have to sign in with your Epic Games account once again. Now, once here, you're going to select your Unreal Engine browser version. I've used 5.3 for this tutorial. Select Launch MetaHuman Creator. OK, here we are. So like I said, with the MetaHuman Creator or with the DAS and the MetaHuman Creator, we're basically grab the shape of the particular headshot we just um, acquired. So now that we're here, we can go ahead and we can hit edit selected. Okay. As you can see right here, my metahumans girl head zero one. This is the one we created. We're just going to go down the list here and we're going to go to the custom. Now, just right now, um, she's kind of moving her head around just to stop that for a second. We're going to hit idle and hit idle again, and that'll stop that. Now, it's not perfect, so her lip is kind of open. We kind of want her mouth to be closed. So simply, we can just grab one of these sliders, scroll over. Okay. Oh, sorry, we got to go back. We have to select the mouth. And then we're going to scroll over. And that should close the mouth. We're not going to worry about blending because we're using just the custom head already. Now, for this, we're going to have to assign the skin color. Let's try to make it as close to the model from what I can remember. There we go. I think she was a little bit darker, maybe like about right here. Next, we're going to select the freckles. I don't remember the model having any freckles. We're going to make zero freckles. We're not going to worry about accents. We're going to go to eyes now. We've got selection of eyes. I think I'm going to give her. Might be not exactly like the model, but I think I'm going to give her some uh, different color eyes than the actual model. Uh, next, we're going to hit the makeup, go to the eyes, and for remember, she had a lot of eyeliner. And then next, we're going to go to the blush. We're going to make her cheeks a little bit red, a little bit, give them a little bit of color. Finally, the lips. We can choose one of these lips here, and we're going to choose a color. I'm going to go with the uh, pre-selected, and I believe she had just like kind of a red lipstick. Maybe, man, they, that'll be good. Next, we're going to go to the head, so we can select a hairstyle, and you can try many different ones. And then I think she had kind of like a ponytailish type of thing going. But so there's a limited thing you can do um, inside this editor here, but you can get a basic idea. Next, select some eyebrows and make your eyebrows kind of, yeah, like thin or thick like that. I don't like that. Let's try this one. I think this one was good. Then we're going to add some eyelashes. Let's go ahead and give her some uh, thick, long eyelashes. 
and we don't need to give a mustache or beard. Let's go to proportions. Now I got her in the skinny pose, as you can see here, but you can change it to any of these. You can, yeah. Next, we're gonna go to tops. Select the top for her. Bottoms. Yoga pants, everyone loves yoga pants. Pick some shoes. Um, flip flops are cool, but let's go with some gym shoes. And then we're gonna go ahead at the bottom here, select the body ROM so we could just get a full picture. And that my friends is how you create a headshot from DAS to Unreal and turning it into a metahuman. We can do a face ROM now. Yeah. And yes. So now you've got a metahuman you can actually download and and put into your one of your projects. And let me see, we can take a look at the original picture. So there's the original picture, pretty close. Not perfect, but you can definitely I'm going to go back to the aisle here. You can definitely see a, a very strong likeness and you could touch this up, you could change it, but now you've taken a picture from something and made it into a metahuman. And uh that's it. So, and that does it for today's tutorial. If you felt this tutorial was made easy, click the like and subscribe button and recommend it to others. And uh, thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day.